Hello students, in this video we'll see several examples of making use substitutions. Here's the first example. Let's find the integral of sine of x over the square root of cosine cubed of x dx. This looks messy. The key to this problem is to observe the following. We know that the derivative of cosine is sine with a negative sign. So if I let u be cosine of x, then this tells me that du is negative sine of x dx. Now we can change our integral. Our integral becomes the integral by the sine of x dx. That's going to turn into a negative du. So I have a negative du. Then in the denominator, I'm going to have a square root of u cubed. So if we rewrite this, we'll have the integral of negative u, and this is the same thing as negative 3 halves power du. Now this is a power rule, so what we'll do is we'll have a negative u, I'm going to raise the power by 1, so we'll turn it into a negative 1 half, and divide by the negative 1 half. And so if we simplify this, what we'll get is we will have a 2u to the negative 1 half plus a constant c of integration. Now, we remember what u was. u was cosine. So this is going to be 2 over the square root of cosine of x plus a constant c. There's our first u substitution. Let's take a look at another example of the same form. Example 2. Let's find the integral of x plus 1 over the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 1,000. Again, this looks pretty messy. That quadratic doesn't look so nice. However, what we can observe is the following. If we let, let u be x squared plus 2x plus 1,000. The 1,000 doesn't really matter so much in this problem because when I do the derivative of u with respect to x, we can conclude that du will be 2x plus 2 dx. Or the same thing as 2x plus 1 dx. This allows us to solve for x plus 1 dx. This tells us that x plus 1 dx is really just du divided by 2. Now we can go and update our problem. Our integral now becomes what? Our integral becomes, well, what are we missing over here? We're missing an important part of the problem. We're missing a dx. We have this x plus 1 dx. x plus 1 dx we saw from the substitution over here is really just du over u. So we're going to have a 1. And the denominator is just going to be the square root of u. And then x plus 1 dx is really just du divided by 2. So if we simplify this, we just have the 1 half. Then we have a du over root u, which we'll write in power form as 1 half integral of u to negative 1 half du. Then we raise the power divided by the power. So I have a 1 half. Then I have u to the 1 half over 1 half. So the 1 halves will cancel out plus a constant c. And so this is just going to be u to the 1 half plus c. And now remember what u is. u is this x squared plus 2x plus 1,000. So our final answer is x squared plus 2x plus 1,000 square rooted plus a constant c. And that is our solution. As we can see from these examples, u substitutions rely on making observations about seeing derivatives of one function in the same integral as you see the function itself. So over here we noticed that the derivative of cosine was sine. Over here we noticed that the derivative of x squared plus 2x plus 1,000 was a multiple of x plus 1. Those observations take time and practice to make clear in other problems, so practice a lot with these u substitutions, do a lot of the book problems, and that will help you find out how to make u substitutions quickly and easily. Thank you very much.